votes were handed out. Now, unfortunately, Rhode Island's three nominees were shut out. A 12-year-old country singing sensation, Billy Gilman, with his hit One Voice, was up for two awards, but Johnny Cash won that for Best Male Country Vocal Performance with Solitary Mads. No embarrassment to lose to Johnny, I suppose. And Leanne Womack won for Best Country Song with I Hope You Dance. Still, Billy Gilman has had a great rise to the top, and Chris Wall has a look back at his Rhode Island roots. Cat Country 98.1 WCTK, that's just... Cat Country DJ Mike West can say he knew Billy Gilman way back when. I met Billy at the Washington County Fair. He was eight years old. He was the opening act for Jody Messina. And from that first performance, Mike West thought he saw a star being born. The voice, the moves. Billy Gilman was mesmerizing. Great performer. Had just that it kind of thing going for him he was just very like wow this kid is really pretty good when billy gilman put out one voice his platinum debut album over a million copies sold cat country 98.1 was the first radio station in the nation to give billy gilman airtime he's got charisma he's got that quality where you have to watch him we decided that uh, the show we should put Billy on uh, was on the Ward Musical Theater's farewell season. It was Alabama. Larry Bonoff owned and ran the legendary Warwick Musical Theater. He gave Billy Gilman his first big break back in the summer of 1999. A sold-out crowd, great sound system, record label executives in the audience. And Gilman knocked them out. He knows what the audience wants, and he gives it to them. You want to hug the kid after he's done. And I'm going to watch the news at night. All the publicity, the Oprah appearance, the awards, haven't seemed to change the 12-year-old. He's just a kid doing what he loves. And music industry veterans see a bright future ahead. And unless his voice changes or unless something really happens, uh, you could have Wayne Newton of 2000s. And as we watch Billy Gilman's career, there will always be people back in Rhode Island feeling proud that they helped him take his first steps in show business. You have to put a building together with a lot of bricks, and I know I had a brick in the foundation. Now, as for Rhode Island's other Grammy nominees,